Hello there guys, Fleep here. Uh, today I'm quickly going to go over the um, a small tutorial, quite quite a straightforward one. Um, I have done a, a lot of work previously on uh, shooting a lot of rounds and uh, rapid fire and so on. But today I'm just going to do one for Call of Duty 4. Um, if you're like me and you couldn't find the addresses uh, through Ollie, uh, you can always use another method which is very simple and all you do is you fake mouse clicks. Now. I'm going to show you this in action first thing. As you can see it here, the usual menu, the DirectX menu. Now, I'd like to quickly say, I know some of you guys that have got Windows 7 64-bit can't, I don't know if it's Vista 64-bit as well that's getting that problem. I know you can't have this menu be being drawn. So basically what I'm going to do in the next couple of days, I'm going to um, install uh, Windows 7 64-bit on my PC. I'm just waiting for a SATA cable to come in for my other hard drive. Um, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to try and figure out what the problem is to find out why you guys can't. My guess is that the hook uh, will need a different type of hook for it, or a different type of detour. Uh, but don't worry about that, I will fix that as soon as possible. Um, I can't fix it if I can't really access, because it takes ages telling people to test my, uh, my solutions and so on, and that takes ages. So, for you guys there, uh, please don't be pissed off with me. Um, although I haven't heard anything bad from you guys I I thought it would work on all systems, it usually does but um, well clearly for 64-bit um, operating systems it doesn't like this menu so um, don't worry in the next couple of days I will try and find a fix for it if I can't I, I will keep trying and as soon as I find a fix for it I'm sure there is one I will post a video telling you guys what to do so your menu is displayed fully so um, bear with me on that um, as probably most of you know I've been quite busy recently and uh, you know, I'm just trying to make a couple of videos to keep you guys happy until I can get off um, college again and then get back to making videos as fast and as uh, often as I can. So, I'm just going to choose any, any map here so I can show you the uh, rapid fire and then uh, we're going to write the code. It's very simple, very straightforward code. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me to explain this, explain the actual code, and it's very straightforward and I will just give you a couple of um, sentences you, and you'll see you'll learn them straight away. Um, let's choose a map here. Kill House is always nice. Um, let's just put unlimited time. Now I'm recording this at 720 I believe because um, if I put this in too high res um, I think hopefully I would have been able to maximize the window to uh, 1920 so you should be able to see this in 1920 anyway because that's how the code's going to be. Uh, but it's on 720 at the moment because I can't pull the ex well, I don't get as many frames as I would um, with. Well, sorry, I get more with 720 than 1080, obviously, because um, my system isn't incredibly fast. So I'm just going to spawn some bots quickly. Um, I'm going to hopefully show you this in action. So um, let's go down here. Let's turn all guns automatic. And press end there. Just going to go here. And of course, you. Look at that. And of course, you can choose your own key and so on, and that's not a problem. Look at that. The problem, small problem with the incredibly high fire rate uh, because it's oh crap because it's faking your clicks. Um, the problem with this, I'll show you the Desert Eagle. It's insane. There are a few small advantages, but overall it's very good. Uh, especially the pistol. Close range of pistol could be incredibly dangerous. Look at that. Oh, just um, but yeah, the small um, disadvantages are. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm doing terrible. The small disadvantages are that um, you get quite a bit of recoil. The good thing about that is that the recoil doesn't last long. Are you shooting me? Is it a helicopter? God, how do they get one so early? Oh, come on. This is BS. I'm just going to try and hide somewhere. Good thing in Kill House you can't hide anyway. That's just great. Oh, come on. This is BS. Ah, oh, sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to show you this, but uh, it's pretty fucking terrible. Yeah, so, the thing you gotta get over is the, um, oh, the thing you gotta get over is the, um, the fact that you have a tiny bit of recoil at first, and then if you can, if you can just keep your gun down, all the rounds after that won't give you any recoil, so I'm just, excuse, I'm sure you guys can do a bit better than me. Bad gameplay, but this is incredibly useful. Not necessarily for guns. I'm showing the M14 as an example, but it's incredibly useful for pistols. When you're at close range in a fight, fight against someone, look at this. 
Look at that. Two people killed within about a second or two. You see? And you get an incredible advantage. Now, I've got 20 milliseconds between my shots. You can put something like 50 or 70. And that will be more controlled recoil. So that will be much better. Probably for most of you. Look at that guy standing there by himself. Take a sip of that. But, um... Oh, look at these. Yeah, so long range this isn't great for. So I assume most of you guys use um, automatic assault rifles anyway. This works for any game pretty much. That was a bad name. This works for pretty much any game. Um, as you guys probably know. Oh, piss off. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm just going to... These guys on my team probably shouldn't shoot them. I'm going to go this way. I took two guys there quite quickly. But, um... I've shown you examples of this. I'm sure you've seen my other examples. Um, as I've just repaired, 20 milliseconds is a bit too fast for fire rate. Um, but if you do something like, if you, if, well, at least if you get used to the, the, the recoil, look at that. Look, I've got an RPG. Wow. Oh, come on. These bots are surprisingly good, I have to say. But, um,. Yeah, this will work on any game pretty much, um, as usual. Screw you guys, I'm leaving you. Apparently. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it, guys. So, um, we're gonna get on with the code right now. It's very simple stuff. And it's definitely best that you go... When we do the code, we'll do a bit higher than, um... We'll do a bit higher than, um... Look at that, absolutely no chance. I recommend that you aim a little bit below them when you're going to shoot, especially if you're close range. You aim just like um, halfway through their body or whatever, and uh, you'll see that that makes it a lot easier. So, um, don't want to waste too much time on this. I'm just going to get on with the code now. Get lost. So, as you can see, this is rather useless uh, at long range, obviously, so this is more appropriate for close range, because that's where you, you get a really big advantage. Um, but, um, of course, like I said, I expect most of you probably prefer uh, automatic weapons as your primary, but there isn't much of a choice for, um, for secondaries. Most people have to use pistols. And, you know, if you get an advantage in the game, you're in luck, you, you know. Oh, hello, guys. Look at that, no chance. Three people, really quickly. Um, of course, the disadvantage you get a lot of recoil at once, and you get. Um, what is this? You get a lot of recoil at once, and you get uh, your ammo going down a lot faster. Oh, oh, come on, come on, reload, reload. Oh, come on! Yeah, so that's it. Alright, I'm just gonna close the game and I'm gonna start with the tutorial. The tutorial is gonna be about five minutes, very simple, very straightforward, so let's go. Okay, so here here is the code you should be starting off with. Now, this code is basically the code we previously did because this is a continuation of the um, the um, wall hacks and cams tutorial. And basically, what you should have already, um, of course, download this in the description. Now, if you haven't done my wall hacks and uh, and cams tutorial, I recommend you go on it. So, um, if you go on my playlists on the um, on my main page, you'll see that there. Um, so this is a continuation, and uh, I'll probably do a couple more, but I've pretty much covered everything that we've done before um, on the list of hacks that you saw on that menu. So uh, it's just the cams, and um, if it turns out, for those of you that have got a 64-bit 64, 64 operating system, if it turns out I have to, do, I have to use a whole new bunch of code for... Um, to get wall hacks and cams to work for you guys then I'll make a new tutorial from scratch that's not a problem I just need to find a solution for it but my guess it th there will be something small along the code um, I have looked online and apparently um, no one seems to have a problem with it or at least it's probably hidden in private forums but um, what we're gonna do now is um, so I'm just gonna press F12 here so you should have this bit of code so uh, check your description you'll have this bit of code here and that will be your basic menu and your wall hack and cams working alright 
Um, you can also use your own if you wrote that code with me. If you haven't, just check out my page and check out my playlists, which should be right on my page as well. So it should be War Hacking Cams, Direct C Plus Plus or whatever. It'll be a name like that. And I've only got one of those videos, so it'll be that. Um, so things that you need to have at this point. So you'll have. Um, so what I'm first going to do is I'm just checking my notes here. They're really qu simple, really quickly. So let's go to hacks.c++. Um, so let's go down here. Uh, this is just code for the wall hack. Don't worry about that. I just commented something out because I was messing around with it. Uh, you guys shouldn't have that commented. So I'll just leave it like that so I can upload for you guys uncommented. Uh, and hack. Yeah, so here's what the code's going to be. So let me just get mine here. All you have to say is you have to say uh, if you BK insert. Yeah, so just below VK insert, put yourself some space, and like I said to you, this will be very quickly. It's just so I can go over the points, and uh, I'm sure you guys will understand this very straightforward. Like, so if you want, right, the code we're going to write in the next few lines here, if you want, you can just put these in a s small application, different place. Um, just put this in a uh, console application by itself. Don't know if I've got mine here. Yeah, so. Uh, this is like not what we're going to write, but this is pretty much what you'd have to write if you wanted to make this in an application by itself. All you do is you press F5, you run the code, and that's it pretty much. Actually, sorry, you can't see it there. I was explaining that there. So yeah, this is it. I put it on my other screen, you couldn't see it. But I'll just press F5, I'll show you. Uh, it, there isn't actually any visual stuff, it just makes it so every time you press right click, it fires loads of times. So. If you guys want that, I can put a link down as well, it's not a problem. Just uh, message me and I'll put it down pretty quickly. Uh, so here we are, and all we're going to have to write is first, um, hopefully I can break this down in just one video and I have to do multiples, but all you do here, let me just get my other video, COD MP4, yeah that's it. So all you do here, first thing you go, if get a sync, so it's just like this one, so we can copy this if we like, it doesn't matter, get a sync e state, we don't need that part, uh, VK and that will be R button. So, although this does seem like um, something that directs more at buttons, um, get a sync key state means uh, it can be used for any keys and for any um, for any mouse click as well. So it could be a mouse button or I don't know why they called it key state, but it, it works for both. That's what you need to know. If you want to find out what every um, key code is for every single one of them, just um, just Google virtual key codes. C++ uh, and you'll see a Microsoft site they'll have all the uh, different ones but they're mostly um, logical so it's like VK R button for right click R, let L button for left click and VK for example insert for the insert key you've seen these before I'm sure you don't need to explain so first thing you have to say is if hack this is something we have to do because we want to make sure it only works if that hack is green so if hack auto fire dot on <coughs> then we say um, I'm going to press CTRL space auto fire um, I think we're going to need to declare a variable for this yeah auto fire stage so let me just uh, find out where we declare this variable and that will probably be in hacks.h not a problem yeah so let's go to our um, actually we can do it on top of here you can declare yours on hacks.h it doesn't really matter so just below here just say int auto fire timer equals clock. Now, I don't know if we added our clock class, but I think we did that on um, on hacks.h. If we haven't, no, we have. Good. Auto fire timer, and then we need to say int, uh, sorry, bool auto fire stage 2 equals, uh, well, d we don't need to declare it for now. It's just, it'll just be more stressful on our system to do that. So, let's go back down to there that I, I didn't do it yet so let's just go back down to the beginning bit da -na -na -na. Um, let's leave that commented I'm not sure what I did there but I uh, just leave that commented for now uh, so doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, oh yeah I just remember this is the file that is used uh, that we did but I didn't go through the whole cams if you want those you can just um, download it from that uh, DirectX menu video uh, solution, the one where I did the uh, wall hacks and cams. There should be a solution there with the uh, full cams and stuff. This was only for the example part, uh, but don't worry about that. You should have the same file. It's, it should be alright. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll probably put for you guys the um, 
the firewood that comes fully done already it, it's not really a problem so what we 